Hi, welcome back to Arthritis Now, brought to you by the Arthritis National Research Foundation. I'm your host, Kyle Langan, and today we're going to be talking to Dr. Massimo Bettini from the University of Rome, who is also a researcher at Sanford Burnham Medical Research Institute in San Diego. We're going to be talking about his research in nanomedicine. Hi, Dr. Bettini. Thank you very much for being here with us today. We appreciate your time. Hello. How are you? I'm doing good, thanks. Um, so you are a researcher and you, you're you coming to us live from Italy right now, which is awesome, but you also, <laughs> you also split your time between San Diego, is that right? Yes. So what institutions are you a part of? Uh, well, I am an assistant professor at the University of Rome Tor Vergata and an adjunct assistant professor at the Sanford Burnham Medical Research Institute in La Jolla, California. So you're working um, on a research project right now that uses nanomedicine to deliver medications to only affected cells, um, specifically targeting rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, can you explain, in layman's terms, more about your research and, um, and what nanomedicine is for those of us who might not understand? So um, nanomedicine is the application of the tools and knowledge of nanotechnology in medicine. Nanotechnology, there are several definitions of nanotechnology. One of the most used one is that the manipulation of the matter at the atomic and molecular level in order to obtain more uh, powerful and, and uh, new materials. Now, uh, rheumatoid arthritis is an inflammatory disease that leads to the accumulation of uh, immune cells in the joint and the development of the disease leads to um, change in the behavior of certain immune cell subpopulation but not of other ones. And in this regard, therefore, it would be highly desirable to deliver the drugs only in the affected cells while not interfering with the behavior of the non-affected ones. Uh, in this regard, the use of nanomedicine-derived uh, carriers would make it possible to deliver the drugs only in the cell subpopulation of interest with high specificity and efficiency, and this will increase the efficacy of the drugs while using less amount of them. And I know you have a, a background in bioengineering, and how does that come into play with your research too? My background, I am an engineer with a PhD in biosensors. Mm -hmm. uh, during my postdoc at the Central Burnham Medical Research Institute, I have studied about immunology and developed carriers to deliver drugs uh, in T-cell subpopulations. And so, and so the, one of the, I guess, the benefits of, of your research would be, it would be, it would reduce the amount of, um, of medications that people would be taking because you're only targeting those affected cells, right? Correct. This is the ideal target, what basically we would love to do. Yeah. And this, this is actually what nanomedicine does. Mm -hmm. The nanomedicine derived carriers, the so-called nanodrugs to be distinguished from the traditional drugs, uh, does. They are able to deliver the drugs only in the affected cells without touching the, the not affected ones, the ones that are working. The ones that are fine. The homeostatic one. And so, and so what made you want to study rheumatoid arthritis? Was it, was, did you have a kind of a personal connection to it at all, or was it? I have friends with RA, and I saw their pain and discomfort. I can tell you know, what, they, what they feel every day. I have, actually, they are friends of my mother. Oh, wow. Yes. And speaking of your family, we have <laughs> spoken to your brother before, Nunzio. Um, yeah, do I know you, him. <laughs> um, and you, so you both are researchers, which is nice because you're in the same family. Um, is there, do you guys ever kind of motivate each other or kind of come up with, um, do, you, do you talk science kind of, do you come up with the new ideas or kind of, you know, egg each other on to, you know? Well, um, I have been collaborating with my brother for almost 10 years. He has been a great mentor and he's my major scientific connection arthritis. Uh, we have developed several new carriers to deliver drugs to uh, immune cell subpopulations. We discuss almost every day about science and we come up with new ideas almost every time, but only few of them sound good and are translated to the bench. Yeah. 
Thanks for watching our interview with Dr. Bettini. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out at curearthritis.org for all the latest arthritis updates. We'll see you next time.